See, I didn't heard about you. I was waiting for you at the door. <laughs> Hey guys, now seriously, it is me, Tiffany, and in today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you three simple and easy looks that you can create with a blowout. So guys, I hope you enjoyed this video, and let me know at the end which one was your favorite. So again, this is going to be done on blown out hair. Make sure you check below for a video tutorial on how I do my blowout. So let's get started with the first look. Okay, let's first start off by parting your hair down the middle, and then we will make a part on the side. All right, so I'm going to apply a little bit of pomade around my edges to give a more sleek appearance. I didn't want to use gel because that will make my edges curl or wave back up. So anyways, after doing that, I will go ahead and flat twist the hair all the way down. And then I'll section off another side piece of hair and follow the same process with flat twisting the hair down. And then you want to do the same thing on the other side. All right, now it's time to gather all of the hair up into a high ponytail, and then I'll secure it with a ouchless hair tie. All right, so now we have our hair into a high ponytail, and we're just going to evenly distribute the hair on both sides. Now I'm going to just take random sections of hair, medium sized sections of hair, and I will begin to loosely two strand twist it, and then I will get tighter towards the end of the twist. Twist, you're going to go ahead and position it to where you want it, and then secure it down with a bobby pin. And you want to repeat that throughout that top section of the ponytail, just taking random sections of hair, placing them where you see fit, and securing them with a bobby pin. That is it for the first look. It's just a simple high bun with a little twist to it. So just something creative to do outside of doing your normal high bun. And to look number two, we're going to start with a deep side part, and then we're going to carry that part all the way down the middle of our hair. So section off the first section of hair, and make sure this first section that you want to work with is thoroughly detangled using my denim and brush and applying a, just a little bit of the edge control or some pomade to smooth down the edges and then I do want a little bit of leave out around my ear area and then I'm just going to French braid my hair so this is one of my favorite styles to do I do this a lot during the work week I'm really <laughs> simple when it comes to my hairstyles outside of making YouTube videos but I will do this to my hair and leave it like this for a whole work week if I can and just simply braid the hair and braid it all the way down and then you repeat that same thing on the other side of hair adding the edge control and just French braiding the hair down and that is it guys this is a simple style this is a super cute and easy protective hairstyle that you can do again one of my absolute favorite hairstyles to rock during the work week and i hope you all like this one so we will be moving on to look number three Okay, we're on to number three. We're going to be making a part from ear to ear, and we will tuck away the back section and start with the front. Ooh, 
getting the hair detangled, you wanna go ahead and start your French braid. So we're gonna French braid the hair over to the side. If you cannot French braid, then you can do a flat twist, that's another option. And whatever style you choose to do, make sure you do it all the way down to the end. Once you've done that, we will start in the back and making sure our hair is detangled and we will be putting it into a ponytail. We're going to grab medium to even large size sections of hair and begin to loosely two strand twist it and make it tighter towards the ends. Once we've done that, we will position the hair where we want it and secure it with a hairpin. And you will repeat that for that entire ponytail section of hair. So I absolutely love doing my ponytails and buns this way. It's a cute way to create some flair, some texture, and just a different look to your simple, easy bun. So guys, I hope you all enjoyed this look as well. Again, you can opt to do a flat twist in the front instead of the braid. And that's it for the three simple styles. So guys, let me know which one you were feeling. Were you feeling look number one the most? Or was it the number two, the crown or French braid? Or was it even number three, which is the little brain in the front and the super cute texture bun in the back. So let me know in the comment section below. Keep up with me on social media. This is where you can find me. And as always, take care. God bless and peace out.